They injected me with some dye that was like really warm in my veins and made me have a taste of metal in my mouth. Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks. In today's episode, I end up in the hospital in New York. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm not in New York now because this video that you're about to see was filmed back in June and it's already August. But I'm still having some health issues, so I'm gonna take you along for the journey. This is just the beginning of it when I was in New York. So let's jump right in. Over the past few weeks, my stomach has been kind of uncomfortable. And then over the past couple days, probably this week, I've been having stomach pain on my left side. So I called the advice nurse for my doctor's office and they said that I need to go into the emergency room right away. So I really don't know what's going on. Uh, my stomach has a little bit of pain. It's not excruciating. She said don't eat or drink anything so that they can do a bunch of tests. nice bed put a gown on and gave me the nice warmest blankets so i'm just waiting i guess for a doctor okay so they took a bunch of blood they're gonna do some blood tests they hooked me up to an iv which is low-key awesome because i've been feeling dehydrated and they're like turn on the tv relax you're gonna be here for a while so i guess they're gonna bring in some a drink so that they can do a cat scan on my stomach so i'll keep you posted so she brought me this giantest thing to drink. She's like, okay, you have to for sure drink all of this. And if you finish it and you feel like it, then you can drink the rest of this. How? That's a lot of liquids. Sterile water for irrigation. This is a lot of liquids. I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom like 52 times. I'm over here sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly, so I hope you become part of the Snack Pack family by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. Throw a like on it and keep watching till the end. And then she's like, if you get nauseous, just ring the bell and she'll bring me some nausea medication. And I'm like, is the nausea because of the taste or because this might make me nauseous? And she's like, either one, I'll give you some pain med or some nausea medication. And then after I drink this whole thing, then I have to wait an hour and a half and then they're going to take me in for a CAT scan. Okay, so they took me in for an ultrasound and I thought it was just going to be like a regular stomach ultrasound, but it was also a womanly ultrasound as well, just to, I guess, to check to make sure everything's all neat and tidy up there. Um, but then they also did a stomach ultrasound. So I'm just waiting for the results on that. And then the guy wheeled me all the way back, but then they were like, okay, she's ready for the CAT scan now. So then they wheeled me over there. And then I got in the CAT scan. They injected me with some dye that was like really warm in my veins. It made me have a taste of metal in my mouth, which was weird. And that took just a few minutes. And then they wheeled me back and took my vitals and I'm still on the IV. So I guess now I'm just waiting for results, but they did give me the results of my blood test. And so my white blood cell count is fine, normal. So that's really good news. So I'm just gonna wait now for my results. They came in with my results. And when I get back out to the van, I'll tell you what it is. But for now, I'm just, uh, they told me I can get dressed um, and I can get ready to go. Um, but they're about to bring me my paperwork so i'm just waiting on that and i drank so much of that stuff that now i'm gonna have to pee all day okay back again for the second day this time it was also very quick to get in but this time they didn't tell me to put on the gown or anything so i think they're only gonna just check 
my stomach and just press on it, but I don't know. So I'm not sure exactly what's the reevaluation for. Now, before I get onto my test results, this is called Travel Snacks, and I want to tell you about a great restaurant that my friends Don and Charlie took me to in Peekskill, New York. It's called Nona's Pizza, and it is delicious. They have so many different pies, and the ones that we got were the white slice, the chicken marsala slice, and the grandma slice, which is a Sicilian pizza. I also had an after-dinner cappuccino, which was delicious. The service was excellent, and the company was even better. Low key, I went back the next day and got another Sicilian slice. It was that good. Check out Nona's Pizza if you're ever in the Peekskill, New York area. Now on to the test results. After I left the hospital, I really wasn't in the mood to film anything because I was still in pain. They didn't give me anything for the pain or any kind of resolution to it. They basically just wanted me to go to California and see my doctor. So what they found with the test results is that I have diverticulosis and they need to do further checks in my colon and there was a cyst on my ovary. They also found that the tip of my appendix was a little distended but not inflamed and that's why they wanted me to come back the second day just to make sure. They ruled out appendicitis and they also ruled out any other life-threatening situations and so they basically sent me on my way and told me I need to follow up with my regular doctor when I get back to California. Now I was still wanting to spend some time in New York and finish going up the east coast so I decided to just suck it up and keep going. So I'll be sharing the rest of the videos from that journey. And after that, you'll see the thing that actually caused me to rush back to California. Stay tuned. In this video, this video, this video is started. Do you want to be in the video, little cat? So I called the and I want to take you along for the journey so I don't know what I'm trying to say it's 115 degrees today in New York is when they started to what this video is just the beginning and I'll continue to take me on take me on I guess my white blood kills I guess my white if you want to see how everything turns out, and it's still going <laughs> through my health journey, so let's ju so l so let's jump right in. Snack time. Snack time.